What is up guys? Thank you for tuning into my video. This video will be about the Black FX Clipper. Um, I'm gonna do a full unboxing and kind of a behind the scenes on how this project happened. So let's go take a look at how it all started. So I've been with this company now for almost four years and we've been able to create new tools together with the latest technology that's helping a lot of our industry users have tools that make our lives easier from better battery life, better blades. So I wanted to talk to you guys and tell you about the newest clipper, which is called the Black FX. Um, this hasn't launched yet, so I wanted to do a quick review on everything that comes in the box. How I feel about this is when we first saw it not too long ago in Vegas, um, it was kind of unreal and it still is settling in, but it's such a it's such a huge opportunity for me because I had never thought that my face would be on every single box. Um, so anyone that buys the black effects, you'll see me on there. You'll see the artist who did an amazing job on the packaging and, and drawing everything out to match us. Um, his Instagram is Mexifunk. And then on the other side, you'll be able to see a short little bio about me and just a, a short little description of, of who I am. Powered by Babelos for Barbers. And, you know, since I've been with them for the last four years, it's been a really great journey. We've gone through a lot of places and it's kind of crazy to see just how far barbering has taken me. When I started, it was, there was nothing about what I'm doing now that I ever knew that this could all be possible. Every day, it was just a chance to improve on what I did before, you know, better haircuts, getting better with talking to my clients. It started with just the, really the smallest things and then everything just kind of unfolded as it went. So when they brought up this opportunity to be part of this influencer collection, um, there's another two colorways, uh, my brothers, Rob and Hawk. There's a red one and a white one. So the three of us had the opportunity to work hand in hand with the company to promote and create this really awesome tool that some people are already familiar with because we've had gold, silver, dark, chrome, and a rose gold. I'm gonna do the unboxing so you guys can see what comes inside. Okay, so this is gonna be the packaging. As you can see here, um, Babels for Barbers, this is my logo here, and a picture of me on the box, this is the Black FX Clipper inside, this is how you will see it on the shelves. Um, here's a little bio information and the back which has all the special features um, What's really cool about this one is that it comes with a gold ring and a gold lever So you can actually interchange the bottom here and the lever here if you prefer to have the extra gold accents um, The power button is here the blade. I'll talk about once we get inside um, All metal housing beautifully crafted. I'll talk more about the battery life and the runtime and also the locking detents Which is also another special feature about this clipper um, I highly recommend it for anybody of all levels because it makes the process so much easier because you actually have a guide as to where you are in the haircut so you never have to guess what um, if you're at open or closed. So that's a really um, special feature that a lot of people have liked about the previous models that were in the other colorways. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to see what's inside. Alright, so I'll we'll open this here. I'm also going to be doing a zero gap on this feature so you guys can see how close it gets. So this is the packaging inside. You'll get a little tin box that puts it in a nice little case. Um, we have Ferrari made motors inside each of these tools. So you're going to get a really long life out of these um, brushless motors so you don't get a lot of cranking or anything like that. Okay, so once you open it up, obviously you have the clipper here. Um, this is the, uh, the black effects. Um, the locking detents I was talking about earlier. You can kind of see it right here, but every time you move this lever, it actually locks into place so you can feel exactly where you're at as you're shifting through it. So there's five locking detents on this inside part. Power button here, 
and then here you have your hanging hook so if you'd like to hang it then you totally can if you'd like cordless of course because that's uh that's the newest thing right now and, and it makes our life easier because we don't have to deal with any kind of wires wrapping around the table the chairs the clients or anything like that you got all your guards so you get the 0.5 all the way up to a six you get the extra accessories that you can interchange. This is the bottom ring and the lever. This will be the charging cord. Um, for UK users, if you do get this tool, as long as you use the UK version, it'll plug into the same outlet for the clipper. So you're good either way and it's dual voltage, so you don't have to worry about um, the, the voltage switch when you travel to the UK or the US. So now we're going to do the zero gapping so I can show you guys how to do that. All right, so first things first, take off the tape. I mean, I guess you don't have to. Uh, you can actually leave on the tape. Um, I'm actually doing, I gave this away for a, an Instagram giveaway, so um, I'll leave the tape on for now. What zero gap means is that we are trying to get the blades, the moving blade, and the steel blade to be as close as possible when it's at the closest position because what that does is that it allows us to get really close especially when we're working with bald fades and bald tapers so if you look at the stock model let me see if i can get pretty close here okay that might be as good as it gets um if you look let's see all right if you look here there is a slight maybe I'd say two strands of hair where the lower blade is sitting underneath that, that uh, the steel blade. And what you never want to happen is getting this um, moving blade overlapping the steel blade because that's when you're gonna start cutting people. So if you see here, there's about two strands. It's sitting below about two strands. So we're gonna adjust that and get that closer. And if you ever, work in a barbershop, you'd understand this because what we do is we tweak a lot of our tools to get it as close as possible so that it can connect well into our trimmers or foil shavers or straight blades that get the hair pretty close to the skin. So what I'm gonna do first is this. I'm not going to take the screws off the back or anything. We're just going to loosen the screws, okay? <clears throat> I got a Phillips screwdriver here. So on the left side, loosen and loosen. And I'm gonna push the lever all the way up. So that's gonna bring it all the way closed, right? So I'm gonna hold it in the closed position and I'm going to physically slide that top blade lower to where I want it basically. And I wanna get it pretty close to even. So as I'm doing this, this is all just by visually looking at it. Um, I'm looking at it from the side angle and I'm just trying to make sure that it looks straight all the way across. So once I have it, which right there looks pretty good, because now there maybe is about half a strand of hair. If you take a strand of hair and you cut that in half, that's about how close I want it to be usually because I don't want it to also be even because if you, if it's even, sometimes it might bite a little bit because the blades will move over time. Um, and that's just something that happens from just using it a lot. So once I have it at a good space, let me see, you see it here? It's almost even, but not quite. So once I have that and it's straightened out, I'm gonna look at it from both ends. So examine. Examine on both sides. Everything looks good. Then you want to hold that and retighten. But you want to make sure that you're retightening a little bit at a time because if you tighten one side more than another, you might shift the the gap. So you want to take it slow, and I just kind of rock it back and forth until both are tight. I promise you it's not as difficult as it may seem or when you hear about the zero gapping, but it's something that you really have to do when you are working with really tight fades, like skin fades and, you know, if you're using foil shavers or um, 
straight blades. Because in order for you to get that line out, you will need a good trimmer, and then you're also gonna need a good clipper that doesn't have a gap, because that's what's gonna allow you to blend out that trimmer line real nice. All right, so now when you look at that, I mean, that is pretty close to being even on both sides, but if you look at it really closely, it's barely just a, a little bit under. Um, so that is what I call a zero gap. That's what you might hear about if you are new to learning about men's hair. Um, that is what a zero gap is. So the locking detents, I talked to you about that earlier. So there's five. Um, what's new about this one that's also really special is that this is um, a graphite blade, but this is a fade blade. So a lot of barbers do tend to like this one because it is very flat. So when you are fading the hair, this is a flat surface, so it allows you, so if you're trying to move through the hair and do more of straight lines, it has a natural long ledge here that allows you to get pretty tight to the head. Versus like a tapered blade, it usually has a little bit more bevel. And what that does too, that a lot of people do like about tapered blades, is that the bevel helps you naturally kind of rock through the hair, no matter whether you're doing it physically or not, because of the way that the blade is shaped it allows people to kind of have a softer finish. So this is more for a lot of advanced people like this blade typically more, but if you wanna practice with it, I think it's also a really good blade because it gets really tight and really close to the scalp and it's straight, so you have a lot of control in the angles that you wanna create. Battery life, two hours. Two hours on a full charge, which is so much. Um, also, another special thing is the blades don't get as hot. These are coated, so when you're working with just a few clippers, um, I tend to use, I used to use actually, you know, three to four different clippers that I could switch out just depending on what kind of hair that I was working with. Um, but since I got this one, I've actually am down to just one clipper, maybe two, just the same kind of just switching it out if it dies, and a trimmer. And then of course, like my full shaver and razor and it doesn't get hot i really love just how everything is so simple the blade is just amazing so you have the graphite blade and also what's new about this is that we have a new cutting blade that has deep teeth and what that does for me is that it's much sharper it picks up hair quite stronger faster and you're able to really get through the hair no problem whatever texture this is the black effects guys. So power button here, make sure you have it on a full charge, just like your iPhone, you get it, put it, plug it in before you use it. Um, oh, another thing too about graphite blades that also people, a lot of people don't know about is that the good thing about this material is that it doesn't get as dry. So sometimes when you're using clippers over time, it tends to like get dry and then the hair gets jammed. Um, because of this material, it usually, ha it almost kind of stays lubricated on its own. So that's also really cool. This is one of my career highlights that I'm really, really proud of. Um, I never in my life thought my face would be on a pair of clippers that will literally be all over the world. So let's put this back in. So again, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I love this thing. I've been using it a lot. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see all the haircuts that I've been doing with this. Um, the demos, um, more information will be out soon. And if you guys get a chance, check it out. Leave me some feedback anytime. Um, I appreciate it.